What up, my dudes? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be making a delicious spaghetti carbonara, which you can make gluten-free by just using gluten-free pasta noodles. It's that simple. Now, full disclosure, my favorite version of this recipe is my wife's version of this, where she uh, doesn't follow tradition whatsoever, and every Italian grandmother would be killing her for doing it. But we're going to make a traditional spaghetti carbonara today, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, the key to making this at home easily is to start your sauce before you start anything else. So we're going to take two ounces of Parmesan, and we're just going to finely grate them. And then we're going to add them to a bowl and show everybody what a bowl of Parmesan looks like. That's what it looks like. Next, we're going to crack some fresh black pepper into our Parmesan, along with two eggs, making sure that your second one is cracked with one hand, just to prove that you can do it. Next, we're going to go ahead and add four egg yolks to this mixture. And then we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a whisk. And we're going to whisk this to combine until it's all together in a nice mixture that looks like this. This will take you about 30 seconds. It should look really loose. That's okay for now. Next, grab guina chale. I think that's how you pronounce that. Or if you prefer pancetta or bacon, if you can't find this, it's fine. And add it to a cold pan. We want a cold pan to start with here. Next, grab yourself a big pot of water, add some salt to taste to it, and then grab your preferred spaghetti noodles. I'm using gluten-free. This is the best gluten-free pasta brand I've been able to find. You can use any pasta you want. It's okay. It'll come out good. Next, bring your pasta water to a boil, and once you have, we're going to go ahead and add our noodles to the pot and cook them per the instructions on there until they're al dente. Next, we're going to go ahead and turn up our pan to a medium heat. So we can get these little bits of meat nice and crispy. Make sure you stir so it does not burn. And once your pasta noodles are done, you're going to want to go ahead and reserve yourself about a cup and a half of that pasta water and put it off to the side for now. Drain your noodles and add them to your pan, making sure you give them a nice stir to incorporate all of that delicious, delicious meat. Remove it from heat or kill your heat and give it a nice stir. And then once it's all incorporated, you're going to go ahead and add your egg and Parmesan mixture right on top of the noodles, like so. This is why we don't want the pan hot. We don't want the egg to cook. Next, you're going to fling spaghetti noodles everywhere, mix it all together, and then add about a half cup of water to this. Honestly, you're going to have to eyeball this, and I would start small. Eventually, it's going to come together into a nice creamy sauce like this. Look at that. Hey, we have emulsified great. that egg beautifully. Go ahead and play it up and call for your wife for dinner or your significant other of choice. And to finish this with the garnish, we're just going to add a little bit more fresh Parmesan on top, like so. And then we're just going to grate a little bit more fresh cracked black pepper. And look at that. You have a beautiful spaghetti carbonara done the traditional way. Now let's go to the wifey test. Okay, wifey test. Wifey got her carbs. Yay! Spaghetti carbonara, babe. Go mm. ahead and try a bite. Oh my god. I'm not gonna make you describe it. Mm. Good? So good. Alright, I'm gonna grab myself a plate then. Alright guys, so spaghetti carbonara. Gluten free because of the pasta noodles. Again, you can just use whatever pasta noodles you want, honestly. Mm. Let me try this. AMSR, AMSR is extra. <laughs> mm hmm. Mmm, that's good. Pepper has nice hints. It's savory yet simple, complicated but yet easy. The guamina chala is a little bit more subtle than bacon or pancetta, but it adds a really nice flavor there. Mm -hmm. Again, just use bacon or pancetta if you can't find it. It's okay. It's kind of hard to find stateside. But yeah, let's get to future Marshall. I'm going to dig in. And there you have it, folks. A delicious spaghetti carbonara the traditional way. I had three plates of this and I'm very sick to my stomach now. I ate way too much of this, but it was just so good. But I still like my wife's version better. In my wife's version, she has like green onions, onions, and whatever she has lying around. She does not care for tradition and it's pretty tasty. I love it. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up. If you go like, comment, subscribe, share this video if you want. That'd be really, really helpful. And if you could leave a comment of what you want me to cook next, that'd be awesome. Until next time, toodles.